What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. Today I'm back with another brand new hero concept, but this one's a little bit different. Rather than just discussing the identity and abilities of a new hero, this time we have a fully functional hero with not only a complete kit and abilities, but even in-game models, animation, voice acting, and cosmetic items. So without further ado, let's take a look at the playable DPS hero, Blair. Now, as you may have already realized, Blair is not a character of my own creation. Rather, he was fully designed and programmed by Aaron Rugama, an undergraduate game developer who reached out and gave me permission to showcase his amazing creation. Aaron has a very impressive 3D modeling and programming resume and actually developed Blair as a Blizzard internship submission. I'll include links to his website and social media down in the description, so be sure to check him out after watching this video. But for now, let's take Take a closer look at Blair. Blair is a flamboyant renegade raider and magnificent DPS aviator. He is constantly causing damage to the enemy team, flying over the objective's position thanks to his jetpack, which he can combine with his stenpulse gun, a burner to reduce his opponents into ashes, or his nave hunter to make them explode. Before we delve into the specific details of his abilities, however, I just want to take a moment to emphasize how well designed the models for this hero are. While I have to say that their texturing isn't exactly what we see with official models in-game, Aaron has done a fantastic job of emulating the Overwatch aesthetic, and has created a very believable design for both Blair himself and his weapons. Oftentimes, when we see fan-made 3D hero models, they look a little too clean or maybe just a bit too smooth, but these models for Blair stand out to me as being exceptionally well done, which is something that I for one absolutely love seeing. Moving out his abilities, first up is his primary fire, the Stenpulse Gun. This is a medium-ranged, fully automatic weapon with a fairly wide spread, thus making it most effective at closer ranges or against larger targets like tanks and barriers. In-game, it feels very similar to Soldier 76's Pulse Rifle. Looking at the number stats of both weapons, we can see that the Stenpulse Gun and Pulse Rifle both come out as being very close in terms of average DPS, with the main difference being that the Pulse Rifle has a slightly longer effective range. This might make the two weapons a bit too similar to each other, but I'll discuss that more a little later after I've covered the rest of his abilities. Next up is his E ability, Burner. Just as it sounds, the Stun Pulse Gun has a flamethrower built into it, which even has the fantastic animation of Blair himself using a lighter to set it off. As with most video game fire mechanics, enemies hit by the burner ability will take damage over time. The demo version of this ability doesn't seem to have a proper burning visual effect for the enemies hit by it, but you can see that they are in fact taking damage over time, even after they stop getting hit by the flames directly. Looking at the number stats for burner, it's fairly consistent with the burn effect on Ash's dynamite, both in terms of the damage dealt as well as burn duration. So in terms of balance, it seems like a reasonable flamethrower mechanic. But moving now onto my personal favorite part of his kit, we have his jetpack and its corresponding mobility mechanics. First is Pinpoint Pulse. By holding down the alternate fire button, Blair charges up his jetpack. Releasing the button then propels him in whichever direction he's facing, with the distance moved being directly proportional to how highly you charged it. For the most part, this is like an omnidirectional Farah jump jet ability, thus allowing Blair to fly to a limited extent. If nothing else, this ability is just fun to use and feels like a nice, fairly unique ability in the amount of directional freedom it gives the player while still being able to fly pretty easily. However, he gets even more mobility with his shift ability, Swap. This is a lot like Hanzo's Lunge in that it allows you to move in any horizontal direction. Plus, it works really well in conjunction with Pinpoint Pulse to give him a massive range of aerial mobility. Last for his abilities is his ultimate, Nave Hunter. This is a homing rocket which follows a tracked target and detonates upon impact with either an enemy or the map terrain. When it explodes, it not only deals a large dose of AoE damage, but also produces an opaque smoke cloud, which blocks vision for both allies and enemies. A direct hit from the rocket deals 300 damage with 75 to 100 AoE splash damage within 5 meters of the impact. The rocket itself can be destroyed and has a health pool of 100 HP. 
Functionally, the Knave Hunter actually reminds me a good bit of Junkrat's Riptire in that it's a large, high damage dealing, but destructible projectile, only that with Blair the rocket moves on its own rather than being directly controlled by the player. Likewise, the Knave Hunter's somewhat slow move speed means that it can still be evaded by many movement or defensive abilities, especially if you find a way to trick it into hitting a wall or obstacle instead of a player. Overall, I really like the design of Blair's kit, and he's very fun to play around with. The fact that his main sources of damage are most effective at close range, in addition to his high mobility, definitely makes him function best as a dive hero who can pop in, deal some damage, and light a few blokes on fire before peace out. As for the balance of his kit, naturally it's a bit hard to say without being able to test him in an actual Overwatch match. The demo practice range is great for getting a feel for his abilities, but it would be really nice to try him in an actual match with other players. Looking at his specific abilities though, the stem pulse gun might be a bit too functionally similar to Soldier's Pulse Rifle, but otherwise is just fine. Overall, I'd say that his damage output feels a little on the weaker end of things, however, I I do absolutely love his mobility abilities and think that they are both incredibly fun and balanced in his kit. I could see some people potentially having an issue with his ultimate, given that the idea of a homing projectile in Overwatch has historically been a bit controversial. In this case though, I'd say that the Knave Hunter actually feels pretty well balanced. Again, it'd depend on how quickly players are able to react to the incoming rocket, which could vary based on circumstance. And I will also say that the smoke cloud it produces after detonating seems a little unnecessary in my opinion, but it is still a nice little detail to make the ultimate overall feel more unique. Before I wrap up though, I did also want to show off the cosmetic items which Blair already has, including victory poses, sprays, and voice lines. As I mentioned, Blair is fully voice acted, so here's just a little taste of what he sounds like. Ho oh, oh, ho! Anyone want to go up to the Valkyrie for a raid? Ho oh, oh, That was a wee bit rude. All you need is a dram of whiskey! Oh boy, that was rank. Are you ready for your punishment? So far, he doesn't have any alternate skins, emotes, or highlight intros, but given how much effort has clearly gone into designing his kit and animations, I think it's more than forgivable for Blair to just have the basics in terms of the cosmetic category. I will also mention that Blair is still in beta and actively being developed, so if you have any thoughts about how to potentially improve or refine his kit, then I strongly recommend that you reach out to his developer to share your feedback. Once again, I'll include links to his website and social media down in the description. There you can check out Blair's full origin story and even download the demo to try out playing him for yourself. Aaron clearly put a lot of work into making this hero, so be sure to show him your support by sharing his creation on social media. And with that, thank you all for watching. I've done several of my own hero concepts for characters like Demon, Echo, and Junker Queen, so feel free to check out those which will be linked in the description and cards on screen. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on Blair, the playable DPS hero, by commenting down down below. Do you think he'd make for a nice fit in Overwatch? Or maybe you've got some of your own ideas about how to possibly improve him. Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.